Welcome to XXLRC. Today, we're upgrading a charger. What I've got here is a Spectrum S2100. It's a dual channel charger, which means there's two ports on it. So you can charge two batteries at the same time. I ended up with this charger because it came as part of a package deal when I bought my Low C DBX LE 2.0. So normally I wouldn't have bought something like this, but being that it was part of the package deal, I ended up with it. And I gotta tell you, pretty impressed with this charger. Um, I've got a couple of high-end chargers that charge up to 40 amps, so that's what I use primarily. But for the Spectrum Smart batteries, if you got those, this is the way to go. Super easy to use. You plug it in, the charger recognizes what battery it is, and will set the charge rate for you. So, super simple. I always recommend something like this for people just starting out, especially if you haven't handled LiPo batteries before, because they can be a little not complicated but if you don't charge them correctly you really run a risk of you know possibly killing the battery or even starting a fire so these make it really easy a friend of mine just picked up an arma typhon and he needed a charger and a couple of batteries so we started looking around and he came across it was like a whole set that came with the s2100 charger and two three cell batteries perfect for the typhon once he got it all set up he was sending me pictures of the screen and it looked a little different than mine even though it's the same model charger you know i've had mine for a couple of years he just got his brand new so i got looking into it and apparently you can update the firmware on these so that's what we're going to do today so I'm going to head over to the bench and I'll show you how the whole process is done. We've got our charger set up here on the bench. And one thing that we are going to need is this part here. This is Spectrum part SPM XCA 100. It's a USB to three and a half millimeter plug. And this is needed to update this charger. So you plug the USB into your laptop or computer. And then you plug the other side into this little, it looks like a headphone jack on the side of the, the charger. So you'll obviously need your charger, need this cable, and you need a Windows PC. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, I'm here on the Spectrum RC webpage. I'll put a link to this in the description box. This just has some information about what's in each of these updates it's a change log and then it also gives you instructions like i mentioned before this is only for a windows pc so no mac no linux as far as i know first thing we're going to do um, they have all the versions for all of their chargers in here so we'll have to scroll down and find the s2100 dual port charger that's the one that we're working with I'm going to go ahead and download this. And I'm going to fire up the charger. Let's see if there's a way if we can check to see what version we're on. Press and hold the menu button in the center. Brings you into this menu. And then down at the bottom, or towards the bottom, is system information. And you can see we're hardware version 1.0.1.0 and the OS version is 1.0.019 and we just downloaded version 1.1.017. So newer version than what we've got on here. Download this zip file. I'm just going to extract them into the downloads folder. Now that we've got this, we're going to go in here. We found the SCU. So we will double click on that to start that. And you may get a message like this. It says Windows protected your PC. That's because it's an executable file that you've downloaded from the internet. So it may not be trusted. But since we know this is a trusted application, you click on more info and then click run anyway. You'll get this pop up if uh, it needs admin privileges, which likely it will. So you just click yes. You want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes on your device. That just means it's going to run and run your firmware update. We're going to plug this end into the charger. It's a bit of a tight fit. And then we're going to plug in the USB end of this into our computer. Go ahead and click update. 
can see the charger is rebooting itself. It's saying it's uh, erasing the application. That's a little terrifying. And now it's writing the application. Seems to be going along pretty quick. You want to make sure everything is plugged in. I've got my laptop plugged into power so we don't lose anything there. Obviously I have the charger plugged in, you have to, but you don't want anything to come unplugged in the middle of this firmware update because it's literally erasing what's on there and putting on the new firmware. So now when it just came up here, you'll notice the screen looks a lot different than it did before. You know, still same functionality, you can go channel one, channel two, but totally different interface. I think some of the things included in this are the, um, some of the G2 features. I know Spectrum has the new G2 batteries. I think you just plug them straight in. You don't have to do anything. It just starts charging right away. So that's kind of a nice feature, especially if you're brand new at this. So, but that's all I got for today. That was pretty simple. Hope this was informative for you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if this is your first time on my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. And I'll see you guys in the next video.